What is happening, dudes? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Happy Monday. It's a Chase Smash, and this is actually a very different video than I'm used to actually shooting for this channel. It's been a while since I've actually made like a real talk video, but this one in particular is going to be the first of hopefully many videos I would actually like to make for you guys. The reason why you're here to watch this video is because I've got a pair of shoes that I think a lot of you guys would really enjoy to take a look at. And before we get started, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a history lesson. I moved out to the Bay Area about a year ago for a new job. I was working in the same place for about 10 years, took a job opportunity to move out here, and I've been exposed to a lot of different things that I haven't had a chance to get exposed to over the last couple of years. I work with a lot of really amazing people, and those same individuals are sneakerheads. I've been a low-key sneakerhead for a long time. I've just never managed my funds properly to buy the shoes that I've always wanted, but I've always enjoyed the culture, I've enjoyed the style, I've enjoyed the fashion, and sneakers have been on the uptick for a while now. Being said, this video is actually going to be about a pair of shoes that are on the list of things I wanted to get, and this, I'm actually kind of nervous about. <laughs> I'm nervous to make this video, actually. Um, I've, I, I'm just starting to build my collection on, on sneakers. I've got a very, very small collection of shoes that I actually wear, but I've never really put time into building a collection of, of kicks. This video today is going to be my first video, so if you guys want to see more of these, let me know in the comment section below, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe and come back for some more because I, I'm actually really excited and I want to do more of these. I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to show you guys a pair of shoes that I actually really like the style of these shoes. Today I'm showing you guys the Jordan Retros. Here you go, the Jordan Retro 13, the Cherry Red, the Chicago's, whatever you want to call them. Colorway is super, super dope. Dude, this shoe is really, really clean. Talking a lot about Adidas shoes. I've been wearing NMDs. I've been wearing Ultra Boosts. I've been trying to get my hands on a pair, uh, so many different pairs of Boosts and, and NMDs lately because those are just, those are fire right now. I actually own a pair, another pair of Jordans. This is my second pair of Jordans, but this is the first video I'm actually making on a pair of Jordans, so bear with me if my history is a little bit off, but I'm actually really excited about this shoe. Leather right on the side. Kind of reminds me of... Um, like at my grandma's couch actually. I know that sounds a little cheesy, but you have the red suede on the bottom, super, super clean. The red midsole, uh, the, I'm sorry, the black midsole. And on the bottom, it's got those cat like reflexes. I know Jordan wore these shoes, he had like these cat like reflexes, a little bit of history behind the shoe. So the bottom actually looks like a paw. On the side here you got the hologram 23. You can't really see it in the camera, I'm sorry. The camera work needs some work actually. Got the Jumpman. On the bottom, super, super dope shoe. These things feel like slippers. When I put these on, I went into the store, the guy had them, I put them on. I, as soon as I put them on and I laced them up, I was like, this thing is super comfortable. It's like wearing a slipper. It's just, it feels so, so good. Nike's been having a super, super tough time lately with getting people on their shoes. And for whatever reason, um, Jordan's never really, they never really fail. I mean, I've I, I've always liked the style of Jordans. Um, this is actually my first pair of 13s that I've ever owned, and uh, I had to get them. I know there's some hype behind them, and I don't think people are gonna sleep on these shoes. I'm surprised I actually was able to walk in. I think I got really lucky. I walked into the champs and I asked if they had them, and they had them. So uh, I'm not sure how I'm gonna wear it to be honest, because it is so clean. I don't want to get this thing dirty, but I know a lot of people that want to get the shoe, they want to rock it. So uh, I'm going to let this sit on ice for a little bit before I start wearing them, especially now in the Bay Area. It's been raining like crazy. I mean, we've got enough rain that'll give us, that'll, la that'll last us for a very long time. So I don't want to walk outside in these just yet. And they smell so fucking good. They retail for about 190 bucks, so it's a lot of money. Uh, I know I probably went a little bit overboard on getting a pair of shoes like this to start building my collection. I know a lot of people, especially sneakerheads that uh, want to start building a collection, they probably don't want to spend a lot of money. Uh, but what's great about the sneaker culture is that it doesn't necessarily matter what you're spending on the shoes. If you like it and you want to rock it and you want to add it to your collection, then fucking do it, man. Like, that's just how it is. I've got a lot of different variety of shoes. I've got about 
about 15 pairs of shoes total. Um, about six or seven of which that I wear on a regular basis. So, you know, rock what you want to rock. But the Jordans, uh, this is a super comfortable shoe. Really supportive in the uh, in the ankles. It's a little bit higher, so there's a lot of support back here on the heel and the ankle. Uh, this is a ten and a half. I, it's a slightly larger. I normally wear, um, and, I, and I don't know if you guys have the same problem, but like I wear, uh, I can wear a pair of boosts, and I wear those in like a nine and a half, ten. But then when I go to when I go to Nikes, I have to wear like a ten and a half or a little bit higher. It all it all really depends, but these are pretty true to size. I could have gotten away with a 10 and this would have been a little bit more snug, uh, but this is a 10 and a half, it wears a little bit loose. It's a kind of a wide shoe, so you're gonna want to um, go true to size, I, I think, uh, with this one. There you go, there you guys have it, the Jordan Retro 13s, super, super cool shoe. I'm gonna give you guys an on feet look gonna keep it really short and simple uh, again guys first time I'm doing a video like this sorry if I'm all over the place I'm just super excited to start talking about my shoe collection I've been keeping it on the down low for a really long time I've been kind of embarrassed to talk about my shoes but I've been telling a lot of people have been telling me to start talking about it and uh, I'm gonna start talking about my shoe collection so what you guys think of the video I'm gonna wrap this thing up with an on feet look of the Retro 13. So if you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, come back for more, and let me know what you guys want to see. If you want to see some more sneaker videos, if you guys, anything, just let me know in the comment section below. I'm HK Smash, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. And I'm bored again When that 40 in When that dream team all played out And they hit the bench I just step back Let me soak it in I seen the ups and downs So I get it now I was born to win It's my time, bro time My turn, I can't lie Waiting for that one spark My one hope to catch fire